Hi, everybody. My name is Adam Grace. I'm here with Mr. Aaron Fisher, Mr. Alexander Slimmer, Conjurer Community. Today we are reviewing a brand new trick that just came out on the market that uh, everybody is uh, really wanting to know a lot about. It's called the Skynet Project by uh, Mark Lavelle. And um, this is a really, really cool, cool new product. So I thought it'd be great if maybe we could sit and give you a little more information about it, help you decide whether or not you want to buy this thing. And if you do, of course, it's always available in the Conjure Community Store. So what do you think about it, uh, Alex? I think this thing is super cool. Uh, without talking about what it is, I just think it's the, a, a kind of utility that maybe a superhero would use. If they, if they were doing magic tricks, right? This thing is just super cool. Uh, it's easy to do. Anyone can do this thing. You can use any deck of cards with it. And it comes with a great effect to just get, get you uh, able to use what it is that's inside this box. It's really a neat thing. I can't say enough good things about it. You know, if you haven't seen the effect yet, uh, you should go watch the trailer. We won't put it here, but I will tell you that briefly, like basically the magician uh, takes a um, an empty uh, paper bag like like a bag you would you would take your lunch in you know uh, to school and you show it empty and then you do this imagination experiment where uh, you have a spectator think of a card and then that card appears inside the bag it's pretty dang magical that's the effect uh, and what you're buying when you get this is and this is not a secret I mean um, it, it's uh, it's known but what you're getting is essentially a, a utility index system so that you have access to any card in a deck of playing cards that you want to put your hands on at a moment's notice. Aaron? Yeah, and an index system, for those of you who you know, haven't heard about that, like, like Adam's saying, it's a way of getting your hands on any card in the deck at a moment's notice, which as you become really interested in kicking butts with your magic, it's really an interesting topic, right? Because depending on how you do it, how you dress, how you walk, how you talk, the kind of index that you can get a hold of uh, and, and how you like to work is going to dictate a lot of the quality of the high level miracles you can accomplish. And so this is a really important because it's a, a serious entry into that contest. For a lot of people, this may be the ideal answer. And it really beats a lot of the other index systems. It doesn't use any pocket space. How can that be, right? I mean, the thing is, it's truly invisible. And it's, uh, I, I think it's remarkable. I think it's something that can be used for the index system like we're talking about here, but it seems like there's a lot more uses for it above and beyond just that effect that you saw and the specific uh, thing that we're talking about here. I think those are a lot more things that you can do with this. If you're a magician and you perform magic, it seems like this device is going to be something that you can use in many other areas. So we had some Conjure community members ask some questions about this effect. And this is the part where we'll just throw these questions out and answer them the best we can because, you know, obviously we can't give away the secret. But uh, John wanted to know if it would be really easy to learn how to use, Alex. What do you think? I think that you could learn how to use it once you set it up, right? There is some initial setup, but once you set everything up, I think you could probably be using this within the same day. Okay. You can set it up and go. Yeah, and I would say as an index, right? Because, you know, an index is an index, right? I mean, it, it's the ability to put your finger on any card in the entire deck. So I would say, you know, it's as easy as a 52-card index could get, right? You know, that's an interesting point, Aaron, because I have purchased many pocket indexes over the years. Uh, I, when we were in Italy for the Magic Convention there a couple of years ago, I bought a pocket index that was uh, had just come on the market, a really beautiful one. But at the end of the day, here's the thing about a pocket index, okay? Uh, it, there's a bit of a learning curve to it. I mean, it, it looks simple on its surface, but because, you know, with the standard pocket index, you, you just have to do a little bit of counting, really. But the truth of the matter is, is that when you go into a real-world performance situation with it, you, you tend to have to recount. You have to double check things and you're doing it with your fingertips, not with your head. Mostly it's, it's, it your has to be working on the walking. Yeah. Yeah. You're one, two, three, four, five. You know, you're like one, two, three, four, five. It can be a bit of a drag. What's nice about this is you don't need a coat. You're dressed like a regular person. You know, I wear a casual shirt. You know, I could be wearing it right now. You wouldn't know. Right. And I don't ever have to do that. You're always right there. 
right? It's, it's as simple as an index system gets because you, you basically put your hand right in the spot you need to be in and then you're ready to do the trick. It's, uh, it's pretty elegant the way they've worked out the solution for the whole index system. Yeah, and, and, and again, no jacket, right? No jacket, right? You don't have to wear And if you want a jacket, you could put it in your jacket. <laughs> yeah, you know, or, and you could, there's a lot of places you can, you can access it and it's going to be for, depending on, you know, the kinds of effects you want, it, it may well be the right choice for you, you know? Um, however, you know, uh, indexes are not self-working, technically speaking. Well, that's a, the next question is from Peter, and he wants to know what is the typical reset time for this? What would you guys say? Instant. I say yeah. it, it, probably under 30 seconds. By the time you walk from the, say you're doing magic walk around where, where, where instant reset matters, right? And you say goodbye, and you turn around, and you say to a person, oh, I'm coming to you. And by the time you get the 20 feet to them, you're, you're back. You're ready to go again. Is that is that totally in agreement with the two of you? Uh, that I, I agree one hundred percent. I do. Yep. Yep. Uh, so uh, JJ asked about it. Um, he's asking about the actual sort of signature opener that that Mark used in the uh, in the video, and he wants to know if to do that exact routine, which he does teach it, when you purchase this. He wants to know if that will work with any deck of cards. Uh, at all. Alex? Yes, any deck of cards. Any deck of cards. Oh, he right. also says, is there, it, well, no, I can answer this. There's no forcing. So there's no, there's no forcing, and that's not how an index works, but no, you're not forcing a card in this trick at all. And this is a good, this is a very good question to ask yourself if you're trying to figure out, is this the kind of thing I need to think about or deal with, right? If you're trying to ask, do I need an index? Well, well, that's the question. If when you force a card, okay, that's great for you. If the level of freedom that happens when you do a great force and you have ever, all the information you need to make a card appear in a lemon or a card appear in a wallet or to tell a person what it is, all right? If that's perfect for you, then you don't actually need an index. If you're the kind of magician at this point in your journey that needs your audience to be able to think of any card right? Name it out loud. And an instant later, rip open that envelope or have them reach into that bag or do anything at that exact moment without knowing in advance with no force at all. That's when you got to be thinking about a good index for you. Right. And, and in that line, this is something you'd probably want to look at. Hey, Alex, you said something the other day about this and, and you were talking about how versatile it was and you, you were just saying, you know, a lot of pocket indexes, you're sort of stuck with what you get. But you said sort of the really brilliant thing about this is that it didn't just have to be an index. Can you expound on that at all? Uh, not too much without exposing things. It just seems like there's a lot of areas that you can cross over into other types of magic, not even card magic necessarily, where this utility could assist you in ways that there's really other no other way to do it and it's it's an invisible system so it makes it pretty perfect for you know some of these other things that i really can't get into without saying what it is <laughs> but you're basically saying a person could think of virtually appear to be think of anything and you could know it in advance or anything you know basically anything. right it doesn't have to be cards it could be objects right it could be predictions it could be it could be uh Bills. And, the, and the other really important, beautiful thing about this that I like about this a lot is that it's not a pocket index. It's not a pocket index. Right. Right? You don't have to go in your pockets and you don't have to dig around. And that's what matters to me. That is yeah. like one of the, the probably one of the coolest features about this particular approach to an index is that I like how I like how, and this will make sense if you know, if you already know how it works. And if you don't know how it works, probably isn't going to make sense. But I, I like how there's a sort of a step by step approach to getting to the card. I like how the, the, the sort of one, two, three, it's just sort of three steps and you're there and they're easy steps. So we're not talking about anything complicated. Um, you know, if you can, if you can essentially read, that if you can read a clock, I'll put it that way. If you can read a clock, the hours on a clock, then, then you'll be able to, to understand how you could do this. And that's a great way of putting it, Adam. 
right? So instead of having you get a lot of crazy stuff done in a short period of time, you just got one simple thing to do. And then, you know, you do one other simple thing and they're all stretched out in time, which is really what matters, right? So it's not like you're trying to get away with a lot of stuff where you're gonna feel like there's a lot of heat on you. And that's what matters to me an awful lot is I don't wanna feel the heat. Yeah, that is definitely the problem with indexes. You're counting, you're doing something. What are you in that pocket for so long for, right? And that's the great thing about this. It's not in the pocket. <laughs> How wonderful. And, the, and, the, and, and if you take a look at the great indexes of all time, the Jimmy Grippo index and things like that, not the commercial, pardon me, crap that you get and you see released ever since Adam and uh, Alex and I were growing up. Well, yeah, it, it was wonderful and it was beautiful and it was in your jacket and everything, but it's not like, you know, good, God help you if you had to carry your cell phone too. I mean, your jacket, was, it wasn't just in your jacket. It was your jacket. Yeah. This ain't that, you know, I don't like to wear a jacket when I don't have to. And this, you wouldn't have to, I'd be able to, you know, wear, wear a shirt, wear some jeans, go out and rock. And, and for, I think a modern mentalist or mind reader, that's like, that's a good thing. And I think it's one of the things that made us decide that this was worth discussing. Sweeney, Sweeney wants to know if we, if you have to wear a shirt to perform this. <laughs> you know, actually, it's funny that you mentioned that you probably could get away with not wearing any clothing with some of the setups that are that are uh, available with this. But how much of a magic show is that? What ki what kind of a magic show is that? And the real question <laughs> you need to ask if you've met Sweeney before is: Does Sweeney really need to be doing magic without a shirt on anyway? Well, there's that. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny that you say that, Alex, because you're right. I mean, technically speaking, you you could do this without clothes on. I mean, that's it's a really beautiful thing, and I'm just going to throw people for a loop. Like, how is an index? How does an index work if you don't have clothes? But literally, without like hiding the cards someplace you wouldn't want to have to hide them, right? But. <laughs> I'll just say that, that yes, you, you do not have to be clothed to do this effect. It is, it is, uh, it's cool like that. God, I wish I could say more, but I can't. It's interesting doing magic reviews, right? Because what you're trying to do is arm everybody with all the information they need to know what's really going on with the thing without sort of breaking your cardinal magic sin, right? Going, you know, that, here's the thing, you know, we're, but we're trying to tell you everything we know based on not just this piece of uh, apparatus, but what we've learned looking at tricks and indexes for like a hundred plus years here together. We've been examining this problem and they always used to sell something in the magic shop and it was never good, right? It was never good. And I prefer, I prefer this. Problem. And it was always expensive. <laughs> <laughs> And this isn't, right? How much is this? It's $59.95. It's very affordable for a magic prop, in my opinion. Especially for one that lets you have your stuff in your pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, you give someone 60 bucks to have empty pockets anytime. <laughs> well, yeah, if I'm going to do magic and I want to use a pocket index, that's a wonderful thing. But I also would like to maybe be able to carry a deck of cards, maybe, you know, a dollar bill, maybe like, you know, I don't know, like a magic disappearing handkerchief as well like maybe like a couple sponge balls too i'd like to not just be like i hey i just do this one thing i'm the guy that says think of a card once and then i leave why because i left my magic in my other pants you know don't want to do that because right? this magic is my pants <laughs> well and you know what even if you don't i i think that even if you don't use this as an index let's say you use it as a as an organizational tool mm -hmm. uh I, you know, I think just, I think just owning this is going to open up a whole lot of creative channels for you to invent and think about your existing magic. Just Saturday night, I would have, I would have avoided losing a telephone and a credit card if I'd had this. <laughs> so you can index your whole life with this thing. <laughs> That's the thing, right? You know, Ricky J uh, used to write about the human index, right? There are people who used to do that show on stage, they'd walk out in vaudeville in front of a thousand people and they'd say, name anything, you know? No matter what you name, he'd be like, oh, that? He'd reach into a pocket and pull it out, you know? Chapstick, cherry, cherry chapstick, you know? So like, this is really expands your ability to sort of have whatever is required at a moment's notice. You, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, 
well, let's, we need to do a trick uh, with a, okay, we're, let's rubber band on the deck. I, Alex, uh, what's your favorite color? Red. All right, we got that one. You know, oh, we need another rubber band for this deck. Uh, what's your favorite color? Don't say red. Uh, mine's like green gr berry grum drops. Great, green berry grum drops, boom. And it's, on, and it's on the deck. And so you can really start to play just to give you some idea of the kind of areas you can go with this thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one last question. Uh, I think we've done a pretty in-depth review without really uh, exposing the method. Um, of course, guys, if you're a member of Contra community, uh, you know, if you're a member of our club, uh, you can get more in-depth information about this release. And, um, uh, in Side Conjure community, we uh, we have all kinds of cool uh, reviews and things going on. So uh, if you haven't checked out Conjure community yet, make sure you take a, min a minute and check out our club. Um, last question is from Maurice, and he wants to know if this is going to be invisible to your spectators 100% of the time. Is this yes. going to be, Alex? Yes. There's no way that they could see it unless they expose it. Like if I was to take that box and open it, you would know what it is, but no, <laughs> there's no way you would know. Oh, you tease us. So you, it's, it's just right there. It's, you've got just, it right there in the box. It's just right here. Maybe we could just open it and we could, no, I can't do it. It's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they won't see it unless you whip it out and show it to them. Hey, $50 it's so off, cool. it's a steal of a deal. Make sure you go get Skynet. In fact, we'd really appreciate it if you'd shop right here at the Conjure Community Magic Store. We've got it right now on sale, $59.95. You can get it today, Skynet by Mark Lavelle. Thank you, Aaron Fisher. Thank you. Thanks, Alexander Slimmer. Thank you. I'm Adam Grace. We'll see you later at Conjure Community. <laughs>